Hi, Joel Y, real estate agent in the state of Kansas, license number 00230507. So I'm gonna talk about an experience that I had putting, putting together a deal um, that's gonna help you as a for sale by owner. So I had a client and we've been looking at houses probably for four or five months. We've written three offers and we've been outbid on all of them. It's just that kind of market out here. It's definitely a crazy seller's market. But she sent me a listing that she saw on Zillow that somebody had listed there. It was a for sale by owner. So this guy decided to list himself to sell to sell his house himself, and he went to Zillow, he listed it, put it out there. My client saw it, sent it to me, and you know I noticed it was a for sale by owner. So the first thing I do is is call up the owner and I say, hey, I have a client that's interested in your house, and are you willing to work with a buyer's agent? The real estate agent and he said yes we I am and I said okay so our brokerage charges 3% of the contract price as a fee for bringing you a buyer and taking care of the, the uh, and facilitating the transaction and he said cool so we went and we looked at the house now this guy had done a really good job of getting his house ready to sell it was super clean um, the the walk up to the front door with the lawn was mowed their bushes were all trimmed and neat the house looked like it had been painted recently um, it was all cleaned everywhere. The front porch was cleaned, no cobwebs, anything like that laying around. We go inside. The inside was really clean. It had been, you know, staged nicely. There was no clutter whatsoever. Kitchen counters were bare. Closets were half empty. I mean, he did everything that, that he should have done to sell his house and, and, you know, get more money out of it. Anyway, we looked at the house. She fell in love with it. So we said, okay, we left. And then I called, called him up and said, my client wants to make an offer on your house. And I told him what that offer was. And, uh, and he said, okay, well, I'll send it over and, and we'll consider it. So we wrote it up, sent it to him. And, you know, about the next morning I, I ca called him up and I, because I hadn't heard back from him yet. And I said, hey, you know, we, you got our offer. What do you think of it? He said, well, we've had another offer since then. And we have a couple more showings today that we kind of want to let happen. But we really, we liked your client's offer. You know, it was a conventional, it was conventional financing. It was above asking. She was paying all her own closing costs. Um, but we did notice that there was a 3% fee to you that, that you had told us about. And we knew that that was coming. But we, we proposed that we split that fee with the buyer. And then we'll, we'll, we'll just end this right here and accept her offer. And I said, well, okay. <laughs> So what can I do? So I take it to my client and you know I tell her what he said and she was like okay because she just really loved the house and, and he signed it and we sealed the deal. So the point of the story is when, when you're doing a for sale by owner if you have somebody that has a buyer's agent already and you decide that you want to use them, first of all if you have a, a real estate agent on the other end of the deal they'll do all the work for you and you won't have to do the paperwork and, and you know keep track of the deal and all that. Of course, you'll want to keep an eye on it, but um, secondly, uh, you can negotiate with that agent. You don't have to take what they say as, as gospel. You can say, you know, you can negotiate their commission with them. Um, and I, I, like I say in the, in the program that we sell, when, when you very first meet, when you, when you get a call for somebody to come and look at your house, you should try to be there if you can. The real estate agent won't want you to be, but you should be if you can. And if you can isolate the buyer and just dialogue with the buyer instead of through their agent, you'll build kind of a rapport with them. And then when it comes down to negotiating, you, there's nothing that says you can't contact the buyer um, to talk to them and say, hey, I'm willing to sell you this house, but I don't want to pay your full realtor's fee. And, and you, you only have to go that route if, if the real estate agent is not willing to, to negotiate with you. And now don't be worried. Don't, when you have a real estate agent on the other end of the deal, don't worry about him. Don't, don't let them bully you. Just, just keep, charge, keep, keep in charge of the transaction and you'll do well. So that's the point of this, of this video is to say, don't be scared of a, of a buyer that has a real estate agent because you can negotiate with that real estate agent and you can actually use them to your benefit to take care of all the hard work for you.